Good morning. Welcome to Sunday's Bite Sized Bible. It's a wonderful privilege to start the day reading God's Word together. Let's turn it and we'll read Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips, but harbour deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail. Our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who freely strut about when what is vile is honoured by the human race. Let's turn and pray together. A prayer from uh, the Valley of Vision, a collection of Puritan prayers. O God, we bless thee, our creator, preserver, benefactor, teacher, for opening to us the volume of nature, where we may read and consider thy works. Thou hast this day spread before us the fuller pages of revelation, and in them we see what thou wouldst have us do, what thou requirest of us, what thou hast done for us, what thou hast promised to us, what thou hast given us in Jesus. We pray this day for a conscious experience of his salvation, in our deliverance from sin, in our bearing his image, in our enjoying his presence, in our being held up by his free spirit, Let us not live uncertain of what we are, of where we are going. Bear witness with our spirit that we are thy children, and enable each one of us to say, I know my Redeemer. Bless us with a growing sense of this salvation. If already enlightened in Christ, may we see greater things. If quickened, may we have more abundant life. If renewed, Let us go on from strength to strength. Give us closer abiding in Jesus that we may bring forth more fruit. Have a deeper sense of our obligations to him that we may surrender all. Have a fuller joy that we may serve him more completely. And may our faith work by love towards him who died, towards our fellow believers and towards our fellow people. Amen. And let's pray the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. See you at 10 o'clock.